Hey everybody, welcome to this video. Now, I'm sure we've all had the issue where we have an SSL certificate on a website that has expired. I know I've been caught out a few times by that. And it's one of those things that we often do forget about, but can have a massive impact on your organisation and the reputation of your organisation. But we now have a test that we can do within Azure Monitor Application Insights that can help alert us to the fact that the certificate is due to expire and we can be a bit more proactive about it and hopefully remember to change the certificate and actually deal with it ahead of time before it does expire. Now within Azure Monitor, we have a public preview test within Application Insights called Standard Tests. And from here, we can actually check the, the length of the SSL certificate and see if it's due to expire within the period that we set it to. Now this is a preview feature, so at the moment it's currently free, although the team have released some information around pricing and they say that the test will have an associated cost per configured test execution. So I'm not entirely sure how much this is actually going to cost in the real world, but right now it's free to try out. So I would suggest that you do have a look at it and see how it can help your organisation. And if you enjoy using it, when it does go into GA or general availability, then you can look at the cost and understand how you need to budget for that inside your organisation. So let's dive into the screen and I'll show you how to configure this and where it all is and some of the things that I've noticed around it. So the first thing I need to do here is create a new Log Analytics workspace. So I'm creating a dedicated resource group here within my subscription to store this Log Analytics workspace. And I'm storing it in the UK because I'm in the UK. I'm going for the pay as you go pricing tier and I'm making sure I put in some Azure tags so that I can keep a track of what's happening with all of my resources as well. So now that my Log Analytics workspace is there, and I want to create an application insights um, area or solution. So I head over to that blade and I pick the resource group I created in the last instance and I call my application insights instance, um, something that will make sense. And again, I make sure I store it in the UK region as well and point to the Log Analytics workspace that I just created. Now again, I'm going to use tags to make sure that I'm keeping a track of my resources and being able to find them and identify them quite quickly. So now that I have my application insights workspace or um, solution created, I can start to create the rules. Now, in order to find the rules, I need to go down the left hand side and click on availability. So here we can see we have the classic test and we also have this new preview standard test available. So when we click on add a new one, we get the, the, the set of inputs that we can put in down the right hand side. Here I'm giving my test a name. I'm pointing to the website that I want to check. I'm using my own blog site here. I'm deticking the enable retries for availability test failures. I don't need that in this case. What I'm doing is actually checking for the life of the SSL certificate. So I want to know when my certificate expires 30 days prior to it expiring. We have different options here, so you can tweak that to what you need. In terms of the test frequency, we only have a short availability. So we have five minutes, 10 minutes or 15 minutes. I really would like to see a bit more of that because I think that's too frequent for this test that we're doing. Now we can pick the regions that we want these tests to go into. It says that five is the best practice standard. For this test, I'm not too worried about that availability. So I'm just going to pick two regions that make sense for me or two test locations to run these tests from. I leave the rest of the information um, as it has been set. And then what I want to do is scroll down and click create. Now, after a few moments, the test has been created and we can see that at the very bottom of our screen um, under the availability tests. Now, what we want to do is configure the alert to actually send me an email as well when it triggers that the certificate is due to expire because I'm not always going to be inside the Azure portal to notice when that happens. So I right click on the little ellipsis and click on the alerts page. 
Now the alert had already been created as part of the process because we had that set up when we were setting the test up. What we want to do now is go into that alert and actually configure the email trigger part of it. So we can see the alerts are already created, but if we scroll down to the actions part, there's no actions created. So we want to create a new action group. So we give it a name that makes sense and we'll be able to identify it later on when we're needing it. And now we configure the notifications. So I just want an email going to me to tell me that that alert has failed and the certificate is due to expire. So I put in my email address that I want. I could put in um, a phone number or I could put in voice messages that could happen. Um, anything that is, makes sense for you. Email makes sense for this alert for me. I skip the actions, there's nothing there that I really want to happen. I just want that email to be triggered and sent to me so that I can either check the SSL certificate or go through the manual update process. So we've now created the action group and we need to make sure that we save this alert. So make sure now that you've updated the action group and the actions, click that save button so that the alert saves that new changes. If we go back, we'll, we can refresh it and we can start to see the test is now hitting and it's starting to fail. If we drill into that alert, we can start to see it and we can start to see the failures that have happened since we set up this alert. And again, if we drill into them, we'll get more information about what's happening with this certificate and why it's actually failed. So we get a lot of information back, but we can see from the availability message that it's saying that the certificate is due to expire within 23 days. And this is also an example of the email that has triggered into my inbox. Now the email is maybe not um, perfect. I probably want to tweak some of this and see if I can add some more messaging because it doesn't really tell me what's happening and it just looks like something major has happened to my environment in Azure. But hopefully this has given you a good insight into how you can use the Application Insights Preview Standard Tests to be able to check for expiring SSL certificates on your websites.